Hello, goal tending students. My name is Guillaume Declare. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. I'm the captain now. Being the team captain is a lot like being the Queen of England. You have no extra authority over anyone, but people respect you more than the next pile of skin cells because they are told to do so. If you were the team captain, not much would be different. You would be the one who takes the face off for the ceremonial puck drop. If your team drew enough publicity for any charity to give a shit, uh, you would be the one who hoists the Stanley Cup first. If your team could afford anything other than a plastic gold spray painted trophy, hoisting those things don't mean much, especially because the other team gets one too for coming in second. For your set of circumstances, the only difference is you might get a C on your jersey and coach might let you give the pregame speech. Uh, it's the sports equivalent to wearing a Burger King cardboard crown and telling everyone you're the king of France. If you play high school hockey, the coaches might let you host captain's practice, but that's about it. And the only fun part about captain's practice is making the freshmen wear dresses and beat the shit out of each other. But you still want that C on your jersey because you have serious insecurity issues and you can't take the fact that someone might be better than you. Even though giving the goalie the captain's position makes no sense. Having a C on your jersey is better than not having a C on your jersey and that's as far as you've thought about this. It makes no sense because a goalie can't call the ref a pusshead as he skates by the bench. A goalie can't retaliate with a cross check when someone gives Joe, the short fuck on the team, a fat concussion. A goalie can't do this while protecting the net. Or can he? Probably not, but I'm still gonna make this video. In this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to take you through a patented step-by-step -step process to make you get elected as captain. You will look so sick with that C on your jersey. Every girl that sees you will instantly fall for you. Too bad you play 5 a.m. men's league hockey and there are no girls within 50 feet. This is Goalie Smarts episode 63, how to become team captain. Step one, start acting like an alpha male. If you wanna be the top dog on the team, you're gonna to have to act like the top dog. When election cycle comes around, they're not gonna elect some quiet emo kid who sits in the corner listening to My Chemical Romance with headphones every game, practice, and team dinner. No, they're going to elect the coolest guy in the room, the loudest, most obnoxious asshole of the bunch. If this guy isn't you, you need to do something about that. I get way more pussy than all of you. We're all very proud of you, Guy. Step two, start campaigning. Depending on what league you're in, the position for captain might already be filled. Whether or not it's filled, it doesn't matter. Being a captain is about doing what's right for the team. And since it's right for the team to have you in charge, it would be immoral if you weren't captain. But see, they don't know that. All they see is another weirdo goalie who's trying to gain some respect. This is nothing like a government election. There are no Gallup polls to find out how you're doing in the race. If you want to find out where you stand in terms of public opinion, you're going to have to run some polls yourself. All right, everybody. So I know the elections for our team captain are coming up. This isn't the real one. I just need all of you to fill out this form just so I know where you guys are all at, all right? Step three, appoint yourself. This is a hockey team, not a democracy. So since no one has claimed themselves captain of the 6 a.m. morning skate, you should get in there and assert your tyrannical style of captainship over the accountants and engineers trying to get some exercise in before work. All right, everybody. Since I am now the captain, things are gonna be a little bit different around here. First order of business, Jimmy, get me a soda. That means now. Second order of business. Since I am now captain, I start every game. Hey man, this is pickup. There, are, there aren't any starters here. All right, since you want to be a tough guy, I'm gonna start every game and play both sides and you can get the fuck out of here because you're fired. I want a Dr. Pepper. Step four, pregame speech. This is now your most important job as a team captain. I don't know about you, but I can't play a game of hockey without the biggest dick on the team screaming in my face, telling us we're gonna win, saying boys at the end of every sentence, and starting some sort of chant. Since this is now your responsibility, nail this fucking speech. Hype up the boys so they'll go out there and fuck up the other boys. Watch Herb Brooks' speech in Miracle several times, get inspired, get motivated, and deliver a speech that will give everyone in the room goosebumps. All right, boys, so this is it. Wednesday morning pickup league. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Well, once every Wednesday, but still. We may not have television cameras following us. 
We may not have scores of groupies in the stands waiting to bang our brains out, okay? But we have something better than that. We have each other. And no one can take that away. As a matter of fact, not only do we not have groupies, most of you are gonna go home to your ugly wives who don't even have sex with you anymore. But that doesn't matter. I think we've had enough motivation for one day, Guillaume. Step five, whiteboard drawings. This is an important job you now have. Going into a game without a strategy is stupid and dangerous. Don't leave it up for your coach to do it. I don't care who he is, he has no more hockey sense than you do. Better yet, if you play in an adult league with no coach, the position is open and ready to be filled by the right hardo who takes things too seriously. All right, everybody. We're gonna work on today's plan, okay? This is the goal, this is where I am. First order of business, Larry, you get your stupid ass out of my way, okay? I know how to stop a puck. Half the time, you end up just tipping it in anyway, all right? Jimmy, I want you, at the other end, to let in more goals so that I can win the game. I get violent when my self-esteem is put in jeopardy. Other Jimmy, don't look me in the eyes. Yes, sir. All right? You're free to leave. <laughs> Thank you for watching the 63rd episode of Goalie Smarts with Guillaume Duclair. This idea was suggested by Cow. If you have an idea for the next episode, comment it below. Otherwise, I'm Guillaume Duclair, and I'm out. Bitches.